This video is sponsored by PellucidFX.com. Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the ForexPisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Now guys, let's take a look at the gold market. Uh, well, on the gold market situation, finally it's becoming more interesting and uh, we will start from the daily time frame chart. As you can see, yesterday we have uh, announced some discussed the suspicious concerning this uh, uh, bullish stop grabber pattern, mostly on the price uh, due to price behavior due to the breaking of the normal market mechanics when the price is forming the stop grabber. And we said yesterday that uh, it's really very likely that this pattern could fail and market could continue to move down since the price action within this thrust on the 4 hour time frame chart, on the hourly time frame chart looks illogical and it stands in a contradiction to the normal development when it should, how it should develop. Now what we see, market really has plunged down significantly. So in, what is interesting is that market has failed to hold above the monthly pivot resistance one. And this, this tells in the long term perspective that that could be just a retracement on the long bear trend. Because we know when the trend is, uh, when the retracement comes on the high time frame chart, it should be held by the weekly monthly pivot resistance one. So if pivot resistance one holds retracement, holds the power action, it tells that this just retracement in the previous trend. If market breaking and breaks through this, area, this could tell that this could become a reversal and that this thrust is not just a retracement but it could be could become the first sign, the first uh, part of the longer trend. But here as you can see market has returned right back down and very probable that January will close below the monthly period resistance one. Second moment, also take a look that currently the short term sentiment is bearish, market is closed below the weekly pivot support, uh, weekly pivot point and has hit the support area. That is weekly pivot support one, then some other supports that we will see on the four hour time frame chart. Also guys, the second moment is that this pattern has been triggered, this engulfing, bearish engulfing. And in fact the price has hit the minor minimum target. So let's shift to the four hour time frame chart. Trend has shifted bearish here as well. As you can see on the daily time frame chart trend is bearish. More significant for us is the four hour time frame chart. So we see that our ABCD pattern that we have discussed, yes, the market has hit agreement, it's 100% extension of the ABC top, D point, it's completion, completion point, it's the objective point of this ABCD pattern, right at the fifth support, 1242, it's 3-8 fifth support from the whole move to the upside and weekly pivot support one. So that is really significant area. Second moment is that price has broken through this trend line. We said that that will be our beacon. That will be one of our patterns that could early inform us about the possible downward continuation. But pay attention how, the, how, how this has happened. So you can see that the CDA leg is much faster than AB. When this happens, it points on the further continuation to the downside. And you can see that the next significant support will be the major 618 support, the 1220 area that also in agreement with the 1618 extension. That is our primary object to watch for because that is the level where the value of the right shoulder or potential head and shoulders pattern on the daily time frame chart should appear. And this action points that the chances that market really will continue to move lower is really significant. They are not bad. Meantime, as market stands to the support, we need to wait when the bounce up will happen. And if you would like also to take the scalp short position with the target right here, you could watch for the current situation. The gold market has the habit to retest the broken lows. So here we have the broken lows. So I suspect that this possible upward action will be somewhere in an area of the previous lows and probably market will form something of the kiss goodbye. So when the market will retest the broken trend line and continue to move lower. That is the scenario that we should take as the basic for basis for the possible downward development. And 
That is the sort of the retracement that we would like to see and we will watch for on the hourly time frame chart. Here we have the FIB levels. That is, by the way, our ABCD pattern that we have discussed. So what FIB levels we have here? You can see that around the previous lows, around the broken lows, we have the confidence resistance on the hourly time frame chart, 1250. The next level will stand around 1253, that is the major 38 level. Okay, so this is a bit difficult to call a confluence on the hourly time frame chart. This is in the 50, a 5 bucks per contract is a bit wide for hourly time frame chart. But still, that is some sort of the resistance cluster that uh, includes uh, multiple FIB levels that also coincides with this consolidation. So you can see this is some sort of the really uh, natural support resistance area. And particularly in this level stands the trend line. So I think that around 1250, 1257, that will be an, a level, an area to watch for a potential scalp short entry. So if you'd like to take the short position, that's an area where we would like to, to watch it. If you trade on the daily time frame chart, you just have to do nothing. Just wait when the market will reach the 1220 area. That's the trading plan. Since market just has hit this support area, it shows just minor bounce. We need to see the development. Maybe that will be the ABCD pattern. Maybe that will be some sort of the double bottom and market will bounce up. I do not know. But definitely, since this is really significant support area on the daily time frame chart, some pattern should appear here that will trigger the potential retracement. Okay? So keep an eye on the current development. And if and when the market will form it, we will start to watch for this area and trying to catch the potential reversal to the downside to make the scalp short with the 1220 targets. So that will be approximately the 30, bu 30 bucks per contract. It's not small move in general. Well, uh, maybe during today trading session we will do nothing because, as I said, market needs some time to create some patrons and starting the upward actions, starting the retracement in respect of the current support. Well, but this support is really significant. So this agreement, FIB support, weekly pivot support, one. So that's really big chances that the bounce up will happen. So let's see what will happen. In fact, I hope that at the beginning of the next week, as a result of the current trading session, we will be able to estimate, estim estimate the uh, more definite potential target of this bounce up when it will start. And on the next week, we will monitor this situation and uh, really will start to search the possibility to take in the scalp short for those who would like to do this. Well, and in general, we'll monitor on the gold market and hope that we should see the reaching of the 1220. Another, qu another question whether market will stop there and will really form this reversal control set or it will fail. Well, guys, it's anyth anything could happen. Uh, but it, if it will fail there, that will be another signal that we could get the 11 even target. So, it's really, it's really thrilling situation on the gold market in the nearest future. A lot of possibilities on the higher time frame charts, on the lower time frame chart in here as well. So let's see. Uh, this is really worth of our attention right now.